Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're going to be unboxing this monitor, the Acer S277HK. Now, I did a year and a half of just research on monitors prior to this. I, I learned pretty much everything there is, in, is to know about panel quality, about you know a good brightness, good contrast ratio, about inputs, refresh rates, response times, and I like I really seriously tried to find like the perfect monitor. It doesn't exist yet, unfortunately. But uh, what we do have here is a 4K monitor. I was planning originally to get the Acer X34 Predator with this, and um, unfortunately uh, that has been recalled and it's going to be coming out at a later time. So while I wait for that monitor to come out, I figured, okay, might as well build my computer now and I'll get a 4K monitor to satisfy my need, my curiosity really for what 4K gaming is like. So. Let's get to unboxing this right now. Super excited to do this. Here's the front of the box. It came just like this in the mail, by the way, so this is pretty nice. So you get the really nice monitor here. Super thin bezels. Here's how it looks on the back, which is pretty cool. You get the sissy scissors here in a sec, one sec. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is an IPS monitor, which means you get the most accurate, most vivid colors, which is awesome. It also was the first monitor ever to release that had HDMI 2.0. It has a 60 Hertz at Ultra HD, 3840 by 2160. And uh, it, it is pretty much all, all the reviews. It's really rare to find something on this monitor. Like, like no one, no one seriously has this monitor. If you search up this monitor on YouTube, you'll barely find any videos. It's really, it's really crazy. Like I tried searching up many videos for this monitor. I couldn't find anything. But given the specs and given the reviews that I had read, I figured that this was the best monitor um, I could get that, you know, didn't have G-Sync or anything like that. Whew. I originally wanted to, I was going to wait for the PG27AQ, but that's not out yet either. And, you know, I don't feel like spending that much at the moment. I'd rather just wait until the Predator comes out. All right, so how am I going to do this? Here we go. Make sure this comes out nice without damaging it. Huh. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Ugh. There we go. Gosh, whew, well, that was a challenge. <laughs> All right, so we got two parts here. We have a display port cable. Actually, no, this is an HDMI cable. I already have plenty of these, so I got an extra, oops, extra HDMI cable. User's manual. We have the display port cable here. Now, I already bought a high-speed display port cable that's gold-plated, so I don't need that either. DVI cable, audio cable, here's our power and our power brick for the monitor. It is a really, it's a really thin monitor as you're going to see. Now we have the metal base here, which is pretty exciting. And really a nice attractive base and uh, I'm going to place this on my desk right now to get this up. Well, actually I have to screw this in. so. Let's actually get to the full panel. Oh, that's actually gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna screw it in this way while we're waiting here for it to... Uh... Let me screw it in. Come on. Here it goes. Okay. And I'll, we're going to switch camera angles and have this set up on my desk. Okay. So like I said, I had this monitor. I had my eyes on this monitor for quite some time before I bought it. 
Looking forward to seeing how this is. I made sure that, I measured my sound bar here to make sure, because I was originally going to get this monitor, I had like my, I was like dead set on this monitor, right? And I me made sure that I had this measured correctly so that it wouldn't, you know, interfere with that placement. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Acer. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh. You got the shiny plastic on the back we're gonna take off right now. Oh yeah. Oh, I love technology. Get all that latex off. Love technology. Anyone else here love technology? It's a shame. This monitor is like, this monitor seriously is like, um, it's like a sleeper hit, basically. And there goes my phone. Oh, that has nothing to do with me. This is a gorgeous monitor. It looks even better in person. Oh, jeez. Now, there is a couple of negatives about this monitor, one being that it doesn't have any height adjust at all. It's just, you know, tilt. That's pretty much all you got. There's no height, there's no pivot, there's no swivel at all. It's just tilt. So, right away, that's gonna be like, uh, I don't know, you know, but for me, you know, I don't need height adjust, I can obviously it's gonna be no use to me. This is, it's a little bit higher than I'd like it to be, honestly, but right, I think, it, I feel like it's perfectly aligned with like the, my face is perfectly aligned with like the middle of the screen right now, which is nice. And just this gorgeous screen, I mean, it's, it reflects everything. It looks like it has zero bezels, and that's what I love about this. I'm gonna show you guys a close up in a sec. All right, so here is the monitor on my desk. As you can see, it's one of the big selling points is that it has ultra slim bezels. And uh, you guys can probably not see, I don't know if it's gonna focus on that, but okay, you can barely see, you can barely see the bezels in the screen. It, it completely matches, which is sweet. It looks so super thin. So you got nice anti-glare coating, semi-matte, I, is it semi-matte? I don't know, it's kind of, ref it's kind of really nice though, I'll tell you that. So it looks gorgeous. I, I absolutely love the design of this monitor already. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna plug in the uh, display port cable, make sure I have the, uh, the you know, the, my console is gonna plug it in, and then we're gonna finally set up this computer and see how it goes, all right? Beautiful, beautiful monitor. And by the way, this monitor is only 540 bucks, and it fluctuates. Like, there, this monitor has been down to like the higher 400s. It's like the best monitor you can get in that price range. It's amazing, so. All right, let's set up the computer.